Yo, what is up, quarantiners? We're on the quarantine, playing for the home team at home. <laughs> uh, the quarantine, you can't steal that. I'm using that for a shirt, by the way. So if you wanna, I mean, you can help me popularize it, but you can't steal it. Anyway, so today I just wanted to talk about some music culture stuff from the DJ perspective. Now, as a DJ myself, and I, I mean, I'm at small town, small time at best. Um, and I listen to a lot of like uh, a lot of bigger name DJ DJ mixes. And one thing that I one thing that I just came across is this. I just came to this mindset as a as a big name DJ or as a big name you know you know musical act or whatever. You know from from your clout, you can play music that's not that good and get away with it. For a guy like me, I can't play music that's not good and get away with it. It's just not, nah, sorry. I mean, forget about my technical mixing skill, which is there. Uh, forget about all the other cool stuff that I can do. If the music's not there, it's just not there. And so that's, that's, that's the idea that I'm coming with here is that, look, if you're a small time DJ, the music that you play has to be the best fucking music in the world. And if you're a big time DJ, you can just let it ride. That's what happens. I mean, that's the thing. Like when I listen to like DJ mixes from like big name acts, yeah, sure, the technicalities are all there. Yeah, it's technically smooth. It all works. There's no, you know, hiccups here and there. You would never, you, you barely ever hear train wrecks or anything like that. Just because that's, I mean, that's the basics. Those are the basics. And if you're at a top level, uh, as far as DJ, that's stuff, stuff you would expect never happen, right? Like a like a pilot. You don't ever expect the pilot to have a fucking accident because <laughs> that means everybody dies, right? Um, so the same thing is true here, but with a fucking DJ instead. Um, you know, as a small-time DJ, the music that I put together on my DJ mixes are, like, the best I can find. It, it, that's why, it, actually, it sucks making DJ mixes for me sometimes, especially when I'm doing, like, an album mix because there's so much preparation and planning and just so much involved in just, like, finding all the tracks that are you know that first of all are amazing and that they play well together that's like that's the important part of a dj mix in my opinion that's what i hold uh, a dj to is that at the end of the day dude you can just press play hit auto fade or whatever and then the then the, the software can do the rest the software cannot it, it will never be able to pick out what the best song is for the next you know for the, for the crowd it's not possible it's just not it, there's no algorithm that exists to that i mean that's an art you know, computers don't give you art. The, the art of DJing is not switching between one song to another technically smooth. That's not necessarily the art. That's the technical part of it, yeah. But this, the, the, the art of it is how you do it, how fast you do it, how, how much bass you allow in, how much treble you cut away. That's the art, okay? And sure, the, the, the um, computers can mimic that. They can, they can, you know, they can, they can imitate that, but they can't actually do it you know, on their own. And that's what, that's where the art of the DJ comes from. So if you're one of these old school DJs who says like, yo, you're not a DJ. If you can't first work on tech 1200s, like if you can't play, if you can't spin vinyl, you're just not a DJ. It's, it's just not required. No, that's bullshit. And you're not a DJ if you just press play either. So there's a simple, there's a, there's a fine line in between that balance. It's like, sure. You don't need to necessarily, I mean, you don't need to master the art of, of beat matching. If you know, you have something like Tractor, which I use and I utilize uh, to help me, fa you know, quickly get to those beats. Because first of all, as a DJ, you know, you want to like, I don't know if you've ever done a long show, but you kind of have to enjoy yourself while you're doing it. So just sitting there meticulously beat matching every single beat, you know, like old school method, you know, on the Tech 12s or whatever, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a heavy skill. But it's something that I don't think that we necessarily need moving forward um, so much because we we are aided by the technology. I mean, how can you be a DJ say, you know, you fucking DJs suck. You don't even beat match. Oh, yeah? Well, you driving that car that's automatic? Why are you driving a Corvette that's automatic? You're fucking not a driver? No, that's bullshit. We use this technology to help us, to aid us in these in, in our endeavors, okay? The, the computers can't think for us. So the software's not gonna actually make the choices that need to be made. That's what the DJ does. I mean, the DJ's not literally 
scratching the record every time that the record's going around and using both hands to manipulate needles. No, that's so basically you're saying that you can DJ by mixing, but by not holding the records on, you know, like by not pressing the, it's just stupid logic. It really is stupid logic. And I'm just breaking it down for you right now. Cause I hear a lot of people talk about, you know, the, they, they throw shade at guys like me who DJ using a, uh, using tractor and, a, and an S whatever, you know, like, I, come on. It's not about that. It's about making the music sound the best. I mean, that's the ultimate end product. The end product is what matters the most. Okay. I'm not throwing any cakes at anybody's face to fucking, because my music sucks so bad, you know, like, I'm not out there doing that stupid shit, I'm making music that makes sense, you know, that, that is, that has a reason, that, that it sounds great, and gets people moving, and it has a fucking intention, the intention is to move the dance floor, or to, to help you meditate, or whatever the fuck it is, I don't know, it's just, you just gotta enjoy it, but, you know, there's, there's no enjoyment if you have to fucking sit there, meticulously beat matching each beat, like, I mean, yeah, sure, that's cool. It's a great skill. I'm not saying anything against the guys that do that. But I am talking about the guys who say that that's the only thing that matters. You know, the guys that harp on the technology usage. It's like, bro, if you're not using technology to to better your, to sharpen your tool sets, then you're behind. You're the troglodyte. It's not the other way around. But you're just, you're just upset about that. So you're just throwing shade at all the guys who just adopted before you. And, and you're left in the dust. Come on. I use as much technology as I, f I feel I need to, to accomplish the goals that I have. I mean, I'm not a great artist without, without you know, layers in Photoshop, you know? Like, <laughs> I, you know, like, the, it's all about the tools and the technology to get you there. I mean, if you look at, a, if you look at a, an old, an, an impressionist artist, how long does it take them just to map out the head? I mean, and, and it's not just one line. They don't just make one perfect line and it's done. Oh, yeah, I'm so good that I just make a line and it's good. No. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot of cross hatching. It's a lot of little little lines that just keep forming. You keep iterating as you go, and that's the whole point. The more technology you have to help you iterate faster, the better the product, because you're gonna have the attention span to follow through. See, that's the thing about humans. We don't have the attention span to stay on long, especially in the age of uh, social media and fuck it, these cell phones where you can just access anything you want at the moment. As a as a DJ, as a producer, you need to utilize those tools because you have to stay relevant. If your music sounds old, I mean, and unless people want a, a vintage sounding sound, they're not going to listen to your shit. You're just not going to have an audience because you're not doing what, you know, like people want a certain type of sound. And if you deviate too far from that, it's not good. I mean, you know, like I, another thing about DJing is that for me, if I'm listening to a DJ mix, if it's a deep house mix and and there's a, you know, there shouldn't be any contention on what Deep House is, but for some reason, Tropical House is Deep House, EDM is Deep House, like literally anything that, they just want to use this as a label, it's so fucking ridiculous, because people don't know what Deep House actually is, or Tech House, there's, there's dozens and dozens of, um, you know, uh, genres of house music, you know, so it's that beat, that boom, 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 that's house, that's a house beat, typical house beat, okay, that's all there is, all right, but then, you know, what's a Moomba tone? Boots, boots. What's, what's EDM? Boots, boots. What's everything else? Boots, boots. Okay, but there's a nuance in what the difference is. When you have, a, when you have the boots, boots with the, with the sound going over. You know, that's EDM kind of shit. When you hear the fucking boots, the boots the, with a, you know, like something chill. That's deep house. There's a difference. If you want high energy, high octane, you go for the fucking EDM. If you want to chill out, maybe, uh, you know, mentally masturbate a little bit, you know, like, you know, put on some, you know, do some drawing or, you know, meditate, whatever the fuck you're doing, you know, you want to have some chill music, that's more of a deep house. And there's different parts in the deep house. There's some upbeat deep house and there's some lower tempo deep house. I mean, it's all in between, but it's the nuance, okay? Well, this is back back to what I was saying about when I when I listen to DJ mixes, for me, if it says it's Deep House, I'm expecting to hear nothing but Deep House. That's all I want to hear. That's all I'm listening to. I, I, otherwise, you could say, oh, it's a Deep House mix, but we threw some country in there, some pop. We threw a little bit of uh, some dirty grime in there. No, no, that's not a hip-hop mix. That's a, that's a, that's a fucking pop mix. Uh, for that's like something you hear on a radio and none of the songs have any of the same beat structures so it's just a cut fade kind of uh djing style which is exactly what they do on the on the radio it's when the song ends they just play the new song there's no fading there's no inter you know there's no like blending or anything it's just like all right that song's over here's a new one 
this one's cool too. Like, it's totally different. It's like, that's why I don't listen to the radio because it's just all over the place. Like, sometimes your mood, like, music is all about mood, mood, all right? If you're in a somber mood, the last thing you want to do is match that with music. You don't want to listen to soft piano, sad, you know, shit. You don't want to listen to any of that stuff or somber music. When you're in a, in a negative mood or a sad mood, you need to you need to opposite, you know, you need to go opposite with the music. You need to have up tempo, you know, easy to understand or easy to feel good music. That's what you need when you're feeling low. But people don't do that. They do the opposite. They do the, oh, I'm feeling low. So let me hear some more low music and just keep that feedback loop of just keeping staying in that low, right? That's stupid. I mean, this is, that's robot stuff, okay? We're not robots here. We're fucking people. We should, the reason we listen to music is because we're not robots, okay? So the fact that you're listening to music as a robot, this proves that you're not listening to music. And there's nothing to listen to in the first place. Because it's not, it's not music. Anyway, I'm sure there's, I mean, there's, there's music's in there. It's not, that's not what I'm saying. But like, you get what I'm saying. Like, if I'm listening to, a, a, to uh, you know, if, I, if I'm in a high energy mood, and I'm going out to the party or something, and all my friends are like in a high-end mood, and everybody's talking loud and shit, and we're all in the car. What do you do? You gotta turn on some fucking high-end music, like some music that's like booch booch, and like it it matches the the intensity of the conversation and everything, right? So you know that's the that's that's why you hear pop music in restaurants. You don't hear like sad bomb, you know, sad ballads in in restaurants because. Then you just get sad and you leave, you know? It doesn't, it, like when you go out to the bar or whatever and you hang out, you, you want to hear something upbeat. You want to hear something that matches your mood, that, that that you know, is like that. But when you're in a negative space, you don't want to keep yourself in a negative space. You have to do the opposite. That's the caveat there, okay? So sorry if it, if it sounds convoluted, but it's not. It's really not. It's nuance. That's the difference. So we have to realize as a DJ, if you're doing a deep house mix, you're gonna stay in deep house. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be interested in that mix. I'm just not. Seriously, the, the worst thing is is like listening to some really good DJs who do this all the fucking time. It's like they got lazy mid mid mid. Uh, you know mid mid set, and they just started. They just put on a couple. You know. Uh, you know a couple of the uh, spaghetti western kind of musics. You know, like spaghetti western is like the spaghetti western is a reference to the old the old uh, western movies back back in the in the 50s and 60s and everything where they just put out a, 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 a movie after movie after movie they didn't really stop to think they just kept putting them out it's like that's why there was spaghetti it was like w w when you produce spaghetti you get hundreds of spaghetti right it's the, it's the spaghetti western it's just that's what it that, that's the whole concept behind it right it's just serializing it just keep pushing out them pushing them all out they don't really sound that great but they sound like they're formatted properly and that's all that matters, right? To, to the uneducated ear. For me, that's not, that doesn't do anything for me. It, seriously, it doesn't. It's like Hugh Hefner trying to jack off to like a, to a girl who looks like a five. No, it's not going to happen. He, he, he's bang, he bangs 10 at a minimum every time he bangs girls. You know, so he's not going to be, he's not going to be excited by the homely looking girl uh, who, who, who doesn't, you know, who doesn't do it for him, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, He's desensitized by that, or whatever, or sensitive. I don't. What do you want to look at? It? Anyway, I know this is getting way more philosophical than I initially intended. But uh, hey, look, that's the deal. It's music. I mean, I don't listen to music for no reason. I don't make music for no reason. I definitely don't DJ just to fuck around. I don't. I, I make music, and I do it all for the experience. Overall, it's all about an experience. Um, so when you listen to my DJ mixes or whatever, for instance. That's the pledge that I've made already, is that when you listen to my music or my DJ mixes, you're, I'm gonna take you to a place. And you may be on a journey, you may go somewhere with it, or it might just be where you're at, where you're at. But it's not gonna be like, it's not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna hear EDM. First of all, I'm not gonna play EDM. Unless I'm at a, you know, unless I'm, like the last time I played EDM was during a, a two years ago for the, for the gay pride parade here in Orlando. I'm not gay, but they called me in on the gay float, the gayest float. It was awesome. And and everybody wants to hear loud and intense EDM, like, and everybody loves it, man. That's because everybody has that high attention, right? Everybody's, everybody's like in, in like excitement and fun mode and, you know, like, and so that was the last time I, that's the last time, that was the last time I, I've done a EDM set. Which was cool. It was. It's nice. It's fun. It's awesome to you know to throw out a lot of energy, 
this just doesn't do it for me all the time, you know? It's just because it's like that spaghettiized version of it, you know? EDM in itself is a spaghetti of, of, of house music. It's, it's, but it's, it's, it, for the most part, it's just not, it's not that interesting. It really isn't. It's just surface level kind of music, you know? That's what EDM to me as a, as a deep level producer, I've been doing this for 20 plus years. For me, EDM is just, it's the candy. It's the candy on the shelf. Who doesn't like candy? Everybody loves candy, but you can't eat candy all the time. That's where the deep house, the tech house, the fucking, the, the more, the more, uh, settled kind of genres are, are, are chilling, you know? So anyway, that's just what I, that's just welcome to the mind of Razmat a little bit. Welcome to my, my, my musical philosophy, especially as a DJ. What I really wanted to point out, um, you know, was just that, uh, you know, as, as a DJ, if you're a low level DJ, you have to play the best music and you have to, you have to be the best. You have to be better than the guys who everybody's getting the eyes on. Like, that's the saying. like, like some of my favorite DJs that I listen to all their DJ mixes and stuff. Everybody's prone to this mistake. I, I do it plenty of times. I've done it plenty of times, but I make it a, a, an actual point to never allow that to happen. It's just one of the things that I try to do. But I know that another, a lot of, a lot of, uh, bigger name DJs just kind of rest on their, their laurels a little bit. And it's like, ah, you know what? It's cool. Um, I could throw in a couple of B, you know, B, B roll songs, some B sides here, here and there, you know, it's like, <laughs> no, you can't. No, not when I'm listening motherfucker. You're going to play the best music I can fucking listen to. And the reason why I'm listening to you is because you're that DJ that gets all the best music ahead of me. Right? So that's why I'm listening to you because I don't want fucking, I want to hear the best new music. But if you're not giving it to me, then I'm not fucking wasting my time with you, bro. Or ho, or whoever you want to know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that's all I'm saying. If you're a high-level DJ, you can play shit. If you're a low-level DJ, you absolutely must play the best music you can fucking get your hands on. And that's the point that I'm making. And this is really more for for the lower-end guys and the higher-end guys and everybody in between. So there's no, there's no real clarified genre here. Uh, it just is what it is. All right, so anyway, guys... I know this probably didn't make any sense, but, uh, you know, whatever. Listen to my music. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.